Hello friends, this is Manu Rajya from Gadget Gada. Today I'm here to show you the Android Pie ROM and the full features overview in Mi A1. So without further waste any more time, let's get started. Okay guys, to get started, I have installed the Android Pie official 9.0 Pixel 2 ROM that was ported to Mi A1 and I will be showing you the features one by one. So coming to the first in the list is that is a notification drawer. They have completely redesigned the notification drawer and it looks completely different. And even the settings they have completely themed it and it looks pretty different than what we were getting in Android Oreo 8.1 or Android Oreo 8. So with this update they have introduced a navigation gesture so if you are using the navigation gestures for the first time it will be a hard time it is pretty difficult to get used to it so if you wanna go to the recent apps you have to press you have to slide up and if you want to go to the app drawer you will have to again slide up so you'll have to slide up twice to go to the app drawer. If you want to go back to the home screen you just need to tap on the uh, navigation bar and if you want to go to google assistant you can just press and hold the navigation bar and if you slide the navigation bar to the left and right you will get to see all the apps in the recent history. So moving to the next thing I have noticed is to use the split screen you will have to first go to the recent app section and you will have to click on that particular app. So previously we have to press and hold that app now we just need to tap on top of the app and you will get an option split screen. Now you will have to select the second app so that both the app works in split, split screen. So the next feature included with this update is you can directly copy a text from a recent app section. So if there is a text in your Google Chrome from the recent app section itself, you can copy that text and you can paste. If you have opened the notepad in the other tab, you can directly copy and paste it to the notepad. So moving to the next feature that is you will get app suggestion. So it will suggest based on the apps you have recently used. So when you click on the recent app menu, you will see the last frequently used four apps. So if you go to the application drawer also you will see the recently used apps. So moving to the next feature with this update they have introduced the theme so you can go to the display option and it is in display you can go to advanced settings and there you will see device theme. So they have given us three themes options so one is based on wallpaper and one is light and dark. So if you choose a dark layout then your notification panel and the app drawer everything turns dark or black and if you go to light and apply the light theme then everything will change uh, to light background so the it won't affect the settings bar but the application drawer and the notification panel changes its color So moving to the next cool feature with this update is screenshot shortcut. Now you just need to press and hold the power button and you will get an option for, to take screenshot. So once you click on screenshot, once you take the screenshot you will get an option to edit also. So you will get a pen and a few more options wherein you can crop the screenshot or you can mark or edit the screenshot and then you can share it to anywhere. So moving to the feature which I like the most so whenever you're using your phone in portrait mode and you want to move it to the landscape mode you don't have to turn on the auto rotate feature you just need to flip your screen and the navigation bar you will get the option to rotate the screen. So if you are going from landscape to portrait you will get the option in the navigation bar and the same way if you are switching from portrait to landscape. Okay guys that's it for the video I will be posting the second part of the video soon with the other features like there are 5 to 6 more features and I will show the installation video on how to install this Android Pie update in your Mi A1. So please stay tuned to this channel and please do subscribe and press the bell icon. So until next time, bye bye.